Hello everyone, welcome once again to our MongoDB tutorial for beginners. In this video, you will learn how to insert documents in MongoDB database. So in the previous step, we created a document, uh, we created a database and we created three collections there. And now we will learn how to insert a data or how to insert documents inside these collections. So for example, I have added two, collect, uh, two documents here inside this classes collection. So here you can see we have student ID 1, guardian name, blood group, phone, class and then second document. So for simplicity, as many beginners are watching this video, we will use MongoDB Compass UI to insert document or documents. We will use MongoDB shell and command line interface to create database and insert records in the later parts of this video series. Once you have a basic understanding of database collections and documents, then we will use the command line interface as well. Now, first I will remove all of this so, so that we can start from scratch. So we have created a database here and inside databases we have three empty collections. In these collections there is no data. So we will learn how to insert a document by first writing a JSON file. Again this is one way of inserting the data. So how to create a JSON file like this? It is very easy. Suppose you have to insert only one document. As I said, a document is one record. It is record of one object. So here, if, if we start from here like this. So this is one document here. From line number 3 to line number 10, this is one document. So, and in this document, you can see we have field and value pair. So student ID is the field one is the value, student name is the field, Mohan is the value and so on. So you can create field value pairs like this based on uh, based upon what data you have to store. So here and suppose you have to insert multiple documents at the same time. So what you will do, you will create an array like this. So this square bracket will represent an array. An array is basically a collection of elements. So here or in, in this case, this array will be collection of all the documents, a set of all the documents that we have. So now in this array, you can write curly brackets like this. And here you can write the key value pairs or the field value pairs. So for example, let's write, let's say we want to insert two classes. So we will write class ID. For us the class ID will be 1 and class name. So class name will be let's say 1 or let's say nursery. So this is one class. So from here to here this is one class and now similarly we can insert another class. So that's why it is very easy to, as a beginner, you can always create multiple lines here so that it is very easy to read and write. So now this is class ID 1, class name nursery and, and similarly we can write class ID 2 and class name let's say KG. So now we have two classes here, 1 and 2 and these objects are separated by a comma. So this is one object from 2 to 5 and from 7 to 10 we have another object and this way we, we have created an array of two objects. Now let's save this file as classes.json. So I am saving this file as a json file. So the extension that I am using here is json which stands for javascript object notation which is simply storing the values in key value format. We discussed about this in previous videos also. And now when you will save it as JSON, if everything is correct, you will see data like this. 
if you have made a mistake let's say we have made a mistake here so you will see something that that is not representing the data correctly so we will do this now after saving this file as json go to compass and in mongodb compass go to that particular collection where you want to add documents where you want to add the data so now we are inside classes and inside classes you can see you can add data here is also written this collection has no data it can take only few seconds to import data from json or csv file so here we have a json file currently let's import a data from json file click on add data and import json or csv file and you can see we have classes.json file here just select it and you can import file you can select this option suppose your data is not correctly formatted or there is some kind of error so you can stop on errors so now let's import and here you can see without any error we have added some data to our classes collection and we have added two classes in our school database similarly we can add students also so for students i created a document like this so here we have one document second document and we can similarly add many other students but just for understanding we are adding two students at this time this data is known uh, is saved as a student document not json so when you are creating a database first of all write down what object properties you have to store so suppose we are storing a student in the database so for storing a student records what does the school require like what sort of uh, what sort of information does the school collect for storing a student's information let me show you something so here you can see we have a school management system and in this school management system you can see you can view or add students in order to view or add students you have to log in so as a test we have written this any student who is learning this if if you want to test all of this uh, you can obviously test this uh, application it is hosted at colorstack.net called school management system i will leave the link in the description so just a minute so here i have logged in as per admin and now you can see when we will go to add students just show you so it is asking add a class first so when we are adding a class so let's say the class name is nursery as we did we are adding no optional details and now class nursery is added so this data is stored in database right and now let's add students in this class so when you will add a student you will select gender student name roll number registration number class of a student students section this is again name of that school then we have student date of birth student phone religion caste again these are all the informations this uh, particular this particular application has been developed for india schools in india and there most of the schools require these type of informations in in order to register a student or in order to add a student or admit a student in their school so at the time of admission these details are asked so that's why when you are creating or adding a data in your collection you should remember all your objects will have those field and value pairs so for example class registration number age blood group gender parents name everything will be stored here sometimes religion caste things like that are also required so for simplicity we have just used six columns or six field and values but you can use any number here so now this is also saved as a json file go to compass and again in students let's add data 
and this time when we will add data we will insert the document so we saw how we can import it from a json file but let's insert it so when delete all of this while inserting just make this document a blank and then copy your json file or copy this information and just paste it here and simply click insert as we don't have any errors you can see it is added there is one more thing that i want to tell all the students that this is a student id 1 2 this is a unique student id that we are adding from our side but with every object you can see mongodb is all also adding this id here okay this unique object id is also being added here so when you will go to the indexes part you will see this id okay so th this is indexed and this is unique okay so this this is like a primary key index in sql right so here you will see every object will have this id which will help us in identifying those objects so either you can add from your side but obviously mongodb is adding from its end also so this is how we can add data either directly into the this ui here in this particular document here or we can import it from a json file whatever you like you can try as a beginner try to create a school database uh, first of all write down whatever fields you need to uh, add in your class whatever fields you need to add in your students whatever properties you need as a teacher let me show you if you want to see example so here we have a staff and teachers and let's add a staff okay so here you can see school name staff name whether the staff is principal vice principal hod dean staff's phone staff's qualification subjects that they teach it is going to be a comma separated value and a staff's email so again currently we will add only simple data which are only like this like key and value a single value later in this tutorial series you will find out that we will also explain you how to insert values that are multiple for example how to insert a value like this if a, a teacher uh, teaches physics and chemistry in a school so how how can you add two columns right obviously one way is to just write it like this like uh, one way is to just write it inside double brackets and physics and chemistry but we can also insert it as a array but all of that for later parts of the series so if you have any doubts till this uh, tutorial please play this video once again and i will provide all these files the json files so that you if you are facing any difficulty you can copy and paste in your mongodb compass and you can also let us know in the comment section thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the next video